Good afternoon. I'm myself, Dr. Atul Buduk. I'm working as a professor in epidemiology at Center for Cancer Epidemiology, Tata Mahal Center, Mumbai. In today's uh, virtual national conference of Indian Public Health Association 2021, I'm going to present the topic, Population-Based Cancer Registry, what is the current status? Cancer registries are the central nervous system, the eyes and ears of cancer control. What is cancer registry? Cancer registries have been defined as organized system for the collection of storage, analysis and interpretation of data on person with cancer, usually covering a hospital or a population from a defined geographical area. Indian Cancer Society, Mumbai, has established the first cancer registry in the country in 1963, and which is the second in Asia. And from 1963, Mumbai Cancer Registry provides the incidence rate, mortality, trends, and different research papers. And it is going on, it's more than 50 years old cancer registry. This is the first cancer registry in India. The National Cancer Registry Program, Indian Council of Medical Research, with the help of different regional cancer centers, has started 36 population-based cancer registries, and there are 236 hospital-based cancer registries. The National Cancer Registry Program, Indian Council of Medical Research, regularly publishes the reports of the cancer registry. A Tata Memorial Center, Mumbai, has started the 10 population-based cancer registry. So there are four hospital-based cancer registries and five special-purpose cancer registries. Government of India has asked us to establish different uh, uh, Cancer centers at different places in Punjab, Vishakapatnam, in Bihar, and in Sangrur in Punjab state. So before starting the hospital, we start the population-based cancer history, and we have also special purpose cancer history. And the cancer institute Chennai, Tamil Nadu, they have uh, entire population-based cancer history covering the Tamil Nadu state. So near about less than 15% population has been covered under the population-based cancer registry. These are the different population-based cancer registry existing in the country. And it is it represents the almost all over India. Only few states doesn't have the cancer registry. So North India, the registries like Varanasi, Mutapur, Punjab, they have covering uh, 28 million population. South India, including Tamil Nadu, there is a registry in Tam Bangalore, Trivandrum, and this uh, South India registry has covered 95 million population. East India, 9.3 million population. Calcutta has good PBCR. West India, the Mumbai, Pune, Aurangabad, Barshi has 30 million population. Bhopal and other registries has covered 6 million population. Northeast India, the Mizoram, Kamrup has covered 13 million population. It's a good representation of the population has been covered under the population-based cancer. What are the leading cancer sites in different parts of India? In male, in North India, lung, mouth, prostate is the predominant sites. In South India, lung, prostate, mouth. East India, lung, prostate, mouth, they are the leading sites. West India, mouth, tongue, and esophagus. Central India, mouth, lung, esophagus. And North India, esophagus, stomach, and lung. So you can observe the lung and mouth cancer is very common. Esophagus is also common. And it is tobacco-related cancers. The leading cancer sites in female, you can see all the places. Breast is the leading site. Breast, cervix, these are the leading sites in females. And you can see in Northeast India, the stomach cancer, stomach cancer seems to be in the predominant site, but breast is very common in all over India. Breast cancer is predominant followed by cervix cancer. And in North India, you can see the gallbladder cancer is very common in North India, that is Ganga belt. So there are need of population-based cancer in several parts of the India, that is particularly Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Haryana, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Orissa, 
Jharkhand, there is need of population-based cancer registry in this state. As per the National Cancer Registry Program, GloboCan, and several cancer registries under TMC, this is the all-site cancer burden published by a regular report by NCRP as well as Tata Mano Center. And what we observe, the India rate is by GloboCan is around 96 per 100,000. And you can see the ruler rates are lower as the compared to other rates. These are all site mail. The Northeast registry has highest rate, 269 per 100,000. And the Barshi ruler and Usmanabad weed ruler has the lowest rate. For female, it is similar. The female rate is around 100 per 100,000 in India. And we see the ruler rate, it is low around 50 per 100,000. But all the urban registries rates are high. Similarly, like male in female, Northeast India is showing highest incidence. These are the global can rates estimated based on the cancer registry data. Globocan is a software which produces regularly the burden of cancer all over the country. Almost all countries' uh, projection has been given in this Globocan software. How this projection has been made? The cancer registry submit data to IRC and based on the uh, population sample, the IRC estimate the global burden and as well as burden of specific country. So population in India, we cover 138 crores in 2020. And the leading cancer sites in male is leaf, oral cavity, lung, stomach, colorectal, esophagus, and overall around 6,50,000 cases in a year. And in female, breast, cervix, ovary, leaf, oral cavity, colorectums are the predominant cancer site. And all site females is around 6,80,000, and the rate is around 100 per 100,000. And this is the graphical presentation, and you can see. The breast is, breast cancer is coming up very high. Breast cancer is coming up very high, followed by cervix uterra. But you can see in male, leave oral cavity followed by lung is the leading signs. How cancer registries plays important role in cancer control? See, population-based cancer registry data will be utilized to know the burden of cancer and pattern in the specific region. See, before... Uh, starting a NCRP program, only Bombay a registry was representing the entire country and we didn't know what is the rate in ruler rate. So Barshi registry started in 1987 and first time we got to know the ruler rates are lower than the urban rates and the pattern is completely different in different parts of India. So that is the output given by the population-based cancer registry. There are several hospital-based cancer registries they have been used for the administrative purpose. Also, several case control study has been conducted using the hospital-based cancer registry data. And the PBCR is useful to know whether cancer is increasing or not. Really, the, now you can see the NCRP report and the several publications. We can see the breast cancer is increasing, cervix cancer is going down, prostate cancer is also increasing. And these types of information we get to know from the population-based cancer registry because every year they publish the total cancer the incidence rate, mortality rate, as well as the site-specific incidence and mortality. The fourth is, is cancer registration is the way to develop the infrastructure. Because what are the cancer registries in the urban population? They are the byproduct of the available infrastructure, like Mumbai, Bangalore, Chennai. Infrastructure is already available, and we just collect the data. But if you establish a registry where the infrastructure is not available, we can submit the report to the government that most of the cancer patients travel outside the uh, state or neighboring state or neighboring districts and there is a need of cancer center here. Like in Sangrur, Punjab, we started the registry in 2013 and there was almost all the patients traveled to nearby center called Bikaner or the nearby district uh, Patiala or Batindia. And we, uh, we recommended the government, the local minister that there is need of cancer center and government of Punjab has agreed to provide the facility for the infrastructure and the cancer center has been established. This is the how the cancer registry is, is the way to develop the infrastructure. And the fifth important point is the cancer registry provides you the survival data. The survival is shows the, the effect of cancer care services in the population. How many patients are surviving? 
is 30% people are surviving, 50% people are surviving, whether the treatment facility is good, whether people are taking the treatment. So it gives you the effect of cancer care services in the population. And the important role cancer history plays is the, um, it monitors the cancer screening program. There are several publications from cancer registries um, from India. Several research articles on cancer burden, pattern, trend, survival are published from the registry data. So cancer statistics, the National Cancer Registry Program has published this very good interesting paper, Cancer Statistics 2020, report from National Cancer Registry Program in India. And Mumbai Cancer Registry regularly published the trends and prediction of uh, cancer incidence cases. IRC has requested all the cancer registry to submit the data to their survival analysis paper. Several cancer registries from India has submitted data to IERC and this is a very good publications by IERC and Indian scientists. There is a good article on the cancer registry that registries are not only a tool for data collection, they are for actions. This is a fantastic paper published by Amiya Bhatia from uh, Harvard School, Public Health School in the International Journal of Cancer. So cancer registry has played important role in monitoring the randomized control trial of cervix, breast and oral cancers. As you know, the India has published very good uh, results on the randomized control trial of cervix, that is whether visual examination of acetic acid is useful, clinical breast examination is useful, which test is better, better for diagnosing the cervix cancer and precancerous lesion like VIA, HPV or cytology, as well as the Trivendram group has published the data on, on how oral visual examination is effective in preventing the oral cancer deaths. And all these randomized control trials, more than 5 lakhs people has been participated and all the results have been published in good journal and it has shown that VIA is very effective, HPV test is very effective clinical breast examination above age of 50 is very effective and oral visual examination is very effective. But in this randomized control screening trial, the population-based cancer registry has provided incidence and mortality data to this trial. Like Trivendra PBCR has provided data on oral cancer to this trial. The individual cancer registry has provided service cancer data, incidence and mortality. Barchi Registry has provided data on service cancer incidence and mortality for the Usmanabad randomized control trial. The Mumbai Cancer Registry data was taken to match the cancer incidence and mortality cases of cervix and breast cancer. So, Cancer Registry has played an important role in screening program. So, what are the challenges faced by the Cancer Registry? The main challenge is the, the lack of trained human resources non-cooperation from the leading cancer centers, hospital, most of the private hospital, including the government centers also refuse to share the data to the cancer registry. They put a lot of hurdles, poorly maintained medical records in all the government hospitals, inadequate death registration system, death records are not properly collected, no cause of death has been mentioned. There are funding issues to the cancer registry and staff sustainability. Who can start the cancer industry? Cancer industry is required is in an important public health program. And who can start the cancer industry? Government medical colleges, cancer center can start the cancer registry. The pathologist, leading consultant can lead the registry. A population covered should be maximum 2 million. Registry should be established at the cancer center. Approximately the budget is 25 lakhs per annum have to be allocated for, to run the cancer registry. And cancer registry training is available at Tatamon Center through the IRC Regional Hub, Mumbai. And we provide uh, training, we also provide uh, technical support in Cambridge 5, and it is totally free, we don't charge anything. And continuous monitoring, we help in continuous monitoring their registry data quality control. Uh, we assist them in preparation of the cancer registry report. We now, we have Supporting Indian registry as well as the neighboring country also approach to us to support the cancer industry. There are useful resources and the researcher, the public health uh, researchers can regularly follow these resources. 
the National Cancer Registry Program website regularly publishes the report on population-based cancer registry as well as on the hospital-based cancer registry. The Tata Mao Center, we regularly publish the cancer registry reports of the Cancer Incidence in Five Continent, International Agency for Research on Cancer, regularly publish every five years the Cancer Incidence in Five Continents. The Indian registry data regularly they publish in this value. What is the message from my lecture is these cancer registries are the foundation of cancer control program and it is required to monitor the cancer control activity. I am grateful to all the organizers of the uh, Indian Public Health Association meeting, virtual meeting 2021. I am thankful to Dr. Cherin Vargis for uh, inviting me in this uh, meeting to, to give the lecture on the cancer registration in India. Thank you very much. Happy to take your questions. Thank you.